carrots here. And uh, I've got some multicoloured carrots. So I'm just replicating what I've done in the barrel kind of thing in here. I'll show you this uh, big pot. We'll see how we get on. Yeah, a bit similar to the other one. Put some drainage right side. It's a couple of hours in the bottom, so hopefully it fills up and there's a bit of a, a reservoir in there. I'm not sure if that's gonna help me, we'll see. So yeah, what I've got here is a bit of normal compost, some cocoa koi from uh, cannabis, some topsoil, uh, some of the uh, compost with the perlite in, and uh, let's say, bit of manure in the bottom of the bin, so it's a bit similar to that so I'm going to fill it all up with no, well, like a, a bit of nutrients but not a lot and hopefully the tap roots go down and feed on that. So I'll just tip this lot in and I'll serve this next one up. Uh, don't think about that one. I've been mixing on this cardboard this morning. So oh, I don't need a lot. So yeah, it's nice light, fluffy stuff. Hopefully the shunt fork and there's uh, there's not a lot of nutrients in there. Let's start with. So a bit of the compost with the perlite. Had a bit of drainage. I say it's hard to, to get it through right, but I do. I say I don't need a lot just to finish it off, to be honest. So. Busy. Oh, yeah, with the uh, normal compost, I'm not putting a lot in. Because I'll show you the seeds in a minute. If you watch uh, Homegrown Veg, he uh, chits his seed. Well, he's chitted some seeds, shall I say, in an experiment. So that's what I've done with these. Uh, these rainbow ones just to give them a bit of a head start. Just trying to get mixtures uh, roughly the right colour. Same as what I've got in there. Oh, well, I do. You've seen how I've been mixing it, so I'll mix, uh, mix a bit more up just to fill it up a bit further. I mean, it's going to settle anyway, but and then I'll, uh, I'll bring you back and show you the seeds, what I've done. So, I'll be back in a minute. 
All right, folks, uh, I did just start this, but I got uh, interrupted. Sorry about that. So, yeah, like I say, this is my seeds. I put God knows how many in. But, well, like I say, what I've done, I've uh, germinated them. A bit of tissue paper. I mean, they have probably been a bit too long. I'm going to try and get the, the smaller ones out of them. So, yeah, I've dipped it. I don't know how many I was in there. And I'll just start and go right edge. Like I said, I've already started this, so we'll uh, carry on. But yeah, just, just pulling them out on the dibber. The dibber, plastic plant label. And then basically bobbing them into uh, the hole. I've done three. That's four. Looks like I'll give them good water after. Them out. I say I think these have been in probably a day too much, but we shall see. We'll see what they do. Hopefully they uh, come. So yeah, let's say just popping them out, just like that. Drop them into the hole cover it up and then I'll uh, get a quick tamp down and get a good water so I'll bring you back when I've uh, finished this since you don't want to see me doing this so see you in a minute right folks so uh, there you have it I've just finished I, uh, I gave it some water let it dry up a bit I gave it a bit more water let it dry up and then I'm just gonna have a good uh, last drink so let's see how these uh, multicolored carrots go I say there's a little bit of manure in the bottom, not a lot, and then the rest obviously you see me sift and mix up. And um, we've got a bit of a greenhouse update, uh, a greenhouse update for you tomorrow. Let's get these uh, marigolds sorted. Cause we'll give you a quick look. Cha ching It's now a greenhouse. So yeah, I'll go through that tomorrow and uh, show you. So thanks for watching and fingers crossed for these. See if, let's see how they do. Cheers everyone.